back to my channel Miss Imperfecto. So today we would be talking about anxiety and depression but that doesn't mean we have to be depressed about it. So it's a storytelling kind of session in which I would be sharing with you my experience of how I faced some such situations in my life and how I how it's still a work in progress to deal with those kind of situations and I guess it happens to all of us like every now and then in our lives it's never really sorted our life is never really a perfect place to be in and it just it just keeps going on and the reasons may be different the circumstances may be different the situations may be different but one thing that stays constant in everyone's life is we all have ups and downs. So my first take with anxiety and depression happened when I was in school and uh, I was in this situation where I had to choose between a couple of uh, difficult situations and I was absolutely put down about the things happening in my life. I felt like nothing is going my way whatever I do will bring something bad to the family or myself but it actually made me feel very inferior and demotivated and isolated and I was completely packed in this overthinking um, four walls of my head in which I had my own sort of world where I used to think that nothing in the life can ever happen good to me whatever I do in life will eventually end on a bad note so this was the kind of negative temperament I developed for my own self which was very difficult to deal with luckily I had those kind of friends I had those kind of uh, family support that a couple of people from my uh, relatives and a couple of my friends actually brought me together showed me the insight of what I can actually be how much impact can I have on the lives of those who are connected to me and how big of a change can I bring to my own life and life is not about just sitting and thinking and overthinking and just keep on thinking which we all do most of the time life is about getting up looking towards the greener side look just trying to be the best version of yourself and it took me hell lot of a time to realize and to get to that level it took me definitely i would say few years to reach up to that extent where i can regain my confidence rebuild my identity be self-motivated all throughout the time things even um changed when I went to study in Delhi in a university and a lot of them changed for my own good but then again staying away from home staying away from family staying away from the people you love actually brought a lot of depressing moments to my life as well where I just used to be in my own world and just used to think about that I'm an overthinker basically. I'll think all the rubbish things all at once. I'll think at least seven years ahead from what is happening to me right now, which is not at all a good way to deal with life. Life is about living in the moment, but to live in the moment, you should have your own reasons to pull you through. We already have so much negativity in life. Why do I have to tell you all this rubbish? But this is important for me because this is the kind of experience that I had and I know a lot of my friends are going through this or have been through this or have been a part of this or some part of this have been into their life so I really wanted to share this thing so that they can come out of their own shell feel connected to what is happening to everyone in the world and still feel that okay they can also overcome that easily the things that used to keep me motivated i'll tell you it's very interesting in the sense this is not a list of things that work for me all the time these are different things that i um, practice 
during different mood swings that are happening to me or different zones of mind that I am in. So number one is shopping. Shopping is a real therapy. I don't know how many of you are a fan of this, but I know at least most of you will be a fan of window shopping. So shopping is the best therapy that I have experienced. Just go out of your home, just go out to a mall or a market and just explore. Even if you are doing window shopping, that's okay because you are just putting your mind into some other work which is much more creative than just sitting and being absorbed into the darkness of your home or the four walls of your room. So just go out, just shop, travel, eat food that you love, have chocolate. Chocolates, chocolates have been my all-time thing. Like I'll tell you about yesterday. So yesterday, what happened? I was coming from work, and I was like, the entire week has passed. I'm not able to film anything. I'm not able to shoot even a single thing. Vlogging is what I loved, and I'm not able to uh, focus on it as much as I should do because of the full-time job that I have. And I just bought a couple of Cadburys, and it worked wonder. So yeah, these these are petty little things of life that we do not know can work magic on us but they do another thing that works for me is listening to inspirational stories um, motivational movies biographic movies i love watching bollywood movies i love watching movies that are based on topical issues whether it's patriotic whether it's thematic whether it's um, on social based issues the only movies that i don't like is horror and traumatic movies i'm of the opinion that we already have so much horror going in our life tragedy going on in our life that we do not need to see a specific movie for that i love watching topical entertaining hollywood movies sorry bollywood movies not that big fan of hollywood movies but now i've started watching them that just keeps me distracted and i think i'm not running away from the situations i have i am not uh, avoiding each and everything that is happening to life but on the similar note i'm not trying to deal with every situation that is brought up to my life i'm just trying to live my life a little more than i'm making it a war for myself so yeah that is something that helps helps me as an individual a lot so maybe if you guys are going through some situations or some trauma or some circumstances in which you feel that nothing is working out everything is happening for bad uh, you cannot figure out the good in whatever thing is that is happening and every person that you love is not reciprocating it to that extent in which you want them to then just pause there for a moment pause and just think about when you were born you had no expectations so why would you have expectations when you die it's just your life and live it and let others live it their own way a lot of people have this perception of controlling things that happen in their life of trying to handle each and every situation their own way i i've tried to control a lot of things in my life a lot of people in my life and have miserably failed to an extent in which i no longer actually want to control even my life i just want to live my life and you should all too the things that i am talking to you guys about has happened to almost everyone in their life just the reasons could be different just the times the places the situations will be different the way of dealing would be different but it has happened to everyone and if it has never happened to you you are amongst the few lucky ones so cherish that part about life and just focus on living every moment i have been the sort of person who has been so negative about life that whenever i used to laugh i used to feel that okay i'm going to cry even that much more and because of that dreaded feeling i used to laugh 
less in cry more when my friends actually made me realize that why do you worry about things that have no scope of existence even in your life the things that haven't really happened to you why would you worry about them and spoil your moment the moment in which you are right now your present why would you worry about your future or your past and spoil the present which you actually have right now you shouldn't right it took me a while to realize that concept but now i readily understand that i never let anyone mess up my plans i never let anyone uh, be the whole soul existence of my plans i make plans for my own self and i try to fulfill them as much as possible i have people whom i love a lot in my life i have people whom i still expect a lot from but i still have that demarcation of this thing that i cannot control them i cannot control my life so what i can do for myself i will do for myself no matter what happens and life will happen to me life just keeps on happening nothing stays the same friends friendship season love hate it will definitely go into a transition time some things will happen in your advantage some things will not what's the point of just sitting in waiting for the fall to pass essence of life in is into enjoying what you have right now and we should not miss it at any cost the best things that you can do to overcome that sort of depression feeling that happens to our life every now and then when you are depressed with the jobs that you are having when you are depressed about the jobs that you are not having just forget about controlling each and everything that is happening in your life just forget about controlling each and every person that belongs to you if they are meant to happen in your life they will come back for sure if something is meant to be yours it will come back it will come back to you no matter how difficult the times are and if it's not then you cannot make it happen so that's all about the motivational thing that i have to tell you guys i know it was quick not a real quick but yeah <laughs> chit chat kind of storytelling session that i had with you guys today because i really wanted to talk about this with you i do not want to make this a lecture or a literature kind of session for you all but i just wanted to share my side of the story so that you feel that talking about these things will lighten your heart much more than just sitting down in your room and thinking and crying over the issues that you are having in your life if you are in a similar kind of situation if you are depressed if you are stressed if you are anxious about things that are happening in your life or the questions that you have in your life always speak it out if you have no one to talk to just sit down in front of the mirror switch on your camera and just record it for yourself you will feel much lighter trust me on that you are your own true best friend and you are the life and soul in the existence of your own being in this life you are not born to waste your life all of us are born for a reason in this life explore that reason look for that reason and even if you cannot find it you would be putting in efforts to explore the reason to find the reason and that will be worth your time and your effort so just stay tuned and keep watching my next video which is coming up on the navratri festive season get ready with me so stay tuned for more till then bye bye see you shubratri shabakar and goodbye